another, regaling of strange fantasy, obscure odysseys meant to shock the nervous system and stir the very core of your soul. Tonight's tale is that of desperation, the kind of desperation that causes fight rather than flight, especially when there's nowhere to fly. In this installment entitled Isle of the Crown. Night will be falling soon. We need to take shelter. That's a great idea, Jason, but where the hell can we take shelter? They found us every time. There's nowhere left to hide. That is not the right attitude. If we stand any sort of chance on getting off this goddamned island, it's gonna be because we work as a team. We're stuck on an island with creatures that come out at night and take you. All of those people gone. But we survived, Diana. Yeah, but for how much longer? Up. Up? Look, over there. Either I'm mad or there are caves in the side of that rock ledge. All we have to do is just climb up there before night falls. Which should be in about an hour. We need to hurry. Let's go. But how do you know those creatures aren't in there? I don't. But there are hundreds of tunneled holes all over the island, so I like our chances above it, wouldn't you agree? Yes, I suppose so. This should be far enough. I'm not sure how long this cave goes. Do you think we could build a fire? No. Can't take the chance. Great. What about food? Actually, I have something in my bag. Ah, there it is. Let's have a seat, shall we? Where the hell did you find a protein bar? The plane wreckage. We should split it in half, then split that half between us tonight. Fine, whatever. Just give it to me. I'm so hungry. Here's your piece. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. I hope it rains tonight. We sure could use some more water. What we need is to get off this island. I can't believe six weeks has gone by since the crash. I still see all those faces. Ugh, stop submitting. I can't. 38 people. How can you ignore that? It's not that I'm ignoring that fact. I just choose not to dwell in it. That's not even it, though. Those that survived the crash... We've been getting picked off by those godforsaken monsters. We're it, Jason. We're all that's left. Yeah. I know it seems like a long shot here, but Diana, we will be rescued. Someday soon, hopefully. I... But until then, we need to fight, if only to survive. Try and get some sleep. We need the rest. Jason. Jason. 
Jason, wake up, look. What? Oh God, are they here? No, Jason, look, it, it's raining. Oh, good. Here, grab a jug and let's get them filled up. home for you? Well, home is a warm bed, good food, and a family who loves me. What about you? Your idea sums it up quite well, actually. But if I have to say, my idea of home is getting to see my mom again, being able to hug her and feel her warmth, to feel safe again. <laughs> Well, that's not too bad either. What was that? Shh. Oh God, oh God, oh God, it's, it's them, isn't it? Keep it down, Diana. Slowly go over to the bag and get the stick. I've been sharpening it down. Here. What do we do? Sit tight and listen. I don't hear anything. Shh. There! Did you see it? When the lightning flashed, it was there. Darkness has a way of fooling your eyes. Now please, keep quiet. I... I, I think it's gone. Seem to be all right. Uh, good Lord, look at that. Whatever it is, it's hideous. Look at how sharp its teeth are. Yes, and how small it is. It's no bigger than a baby. Never seen anything like this before. Now that we know what they are, I, I fear for the worst. We can only hope that the others will not have hurt him. I can't. I can't do this any longer. Stop! Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Come on then! Come get me! I don't care anymore! I don't care! Stop it, you fool! Don't you realize what you've done? I don't care. I'd rather die. Well, no problem then, because you just signed our death warrants. Let me go. Just get away from me. Oh, yeah, fine, no problem. Sure. Let me just give you your space. If it really matters anymore, we'll be dead by sunrise. If it hadn't been for this, your attitude would have gotten you killed somewhere else. You know... <laughs> Jason, no! Please don't leave me! Please, 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 no! Daybreak. I will find you, Jason. I don't know where to begin. I'm useless. Tunneled holes. Hundreds. Tunneled holes? Who would they tunnel to? I've missed this before, the caves. This 
has to be it. There's a light at the end. It looks like a door. Jason! Di... Diana? Yes, Jason, I'm here. Thank God you're alive. What have they done to you? No, don't move me! Jason, no! Thy human body can withstand quite a lot. Even when they are very heavy together. the hell are you? The leader of this freak show? I am the king of this island. And who are you? I'm the end of your reign. You killed all those people. You killed Jason. My reign as king has extended over 50 years. Years, surviving by conquering all who come to my island. I inherited the flesh to survive. For my people to survive. The burden alone keeps me awake at night. It's either you or me at this point. And your highness, I'll kill you. to me. I'm not your queen. I'm not your queen! After the fight is won, the question to be answered is, what of the Alkalade that is to inevitably follow? <laughs> Thus concludes tonight's libretto of strange fantasy. Tune in next week for another look into the strange and obscure. Strange Fantasy presented Isle of the Crown, written by Travis Garbro and Trey Gonzalez, produced by Ghost Host Records. The players of tonight's tale are as follows, Martina Olhauser as Diana, Travis Scarbro as Jason, and Trey Gonzalez as the Island King. So Strange Fantasy is copyright 2015, Burke Funk Media, all rights reserved. All characters appearing in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons living or dead is purely coincidental.